taking a bit of a risk here because I'm using my normal camera, which is a good grand, two grand's worth of equipment to record this because I forgot the memory card for my GoPro. So I am an idiot, but the reason I'm taking the risk is because there's just two eagles flying around out there. So as I paddle out to the island, I want to make sure that if anything interesting happens, I can tell you about it. I'm going to be very careful and try not to drown you, i.e. my camera. Okay, so we're paddling out to the island now and in the trees I'm looking at, which you can't see because it's behind you, are two white-tailed eagles, our largest predators, our largest birds of prey, and fourth largest bird of prey in the whole of the world, judging by some statistics. A little bit out of view at the moment. The best way to know around here if the eagles are coming is by the other birds, because the gulls, the geese, herons, ducks, they all go crazy if the eagle comes in. Now, there's a big old bird heading towards that tree now. Okay, I took a picture of that flight path before, so I will cut that in. There it is! There it is! Oh my god, that's extraordinary. That's fine on the back. Now, the other reason I'm risking my camera and my livelihood is because, as I was saying before, there is an otter somewhere around here. And if I stumble across it, I really want to show you it because it's just such a beautiful creature. One of these creatures that are the total master of their environment. Just see it in the distance there, a little speck moving around. I'm going to get a different lens now so you can see it a bit clearer, hopefully. Two white tailed eagles, an otter geese, ducks, we haven't even started the episode yet. And the whole point of this episode was to find out what was on that card, because the bait has gone. So I'm gonna grab the card out of here, download the pictures, and show you what we've found. And show me, because I haven't seen anything either. Yeah. I tell you, this feels like just before Christmas, and you've got all the presents there, and you're wondering, are they going to be an amazing present? Or are you going to have to feign excitement because it's not the best? There's a lot of pictures of me talking because obviously I hadn't turned the camera off. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Okay, right. So, we have a herring gull. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so let's keep looking. Maybe, just maybe, something else will come. Oh! That's very cool. A buzzard. That's very good indeed. I mean, ah. Wow. Excellent. Can you see that there? I don't know. What I'll do is I'll splice this into the video so you can actually see some of these pictures. Fantastic. Look at that. Oh, three gulls. 
Looks like a lesser black back that one, and a couple of herring gulls and some juveniles. Lots of gulls. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's me look through all the pictures now. And apart from that wonderful shot of the buzzard, it was pretty much just gulls. Now I love gulls, but it's not exactly what we're trying to get to come in here. But this is a long-term project, so I will keep bringing food out and I'll keep the camera trap here. And if we do get an otter and an eagle or something a bit more exotic coming down, I'll be sure to show you in that, in that video diary. The next one we're gonna do is a behind the scenes look at setting up the peregrine nest site we hope to establish and a San Martin colony. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.